Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is always a healing system, always a regenerating system, designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. Try to call in early so we don't have to leave anybody on hold. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have questions about ingredients or formulations or nutritional supplements or whatever in the world of health anyway. And, of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com. You can purchase products right off the website. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Or you can head to our blogs, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com, and order products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the blog websites. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our truth treatment products or checking out our retinol 5% gel or truth serum or omega-6 healing cream, or our Truth Balm, all made with high concentrations, 100% active and functional ingredients. No fillers, no waxes, no oils, no silicones, no preservatives, no fragrances, no water, no nothing that your skin can't use, and no nothing that your skin has to detoxify like a poison, which is what preservatives and fragrances are all about. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we're talking vitamin E, the steroidal fatty hormones, how they relate to the skin and other fatty components of the body, including the liver and the heart, and especially the brain. Yesterday we talked about dementia, Alzheimer's dementia, and other dementias. There's nothing really special about Alzheimer's dementia as opposed to vascular dementia or Lewy body dementia or Parkinson's dementia. They're all basically the same idea specific cells, the the specific cell that's involved may be different or the specific part of the brain that's involved may be different, but really you're dealing with brain rot. Alzheimer's disease and dementias are the quintessential example of a degenerative disease. I don't mean to be gross and I don't mean to be rude or tacky, but I want to be really clear about what's happening. The brain's rotting. That's really what's happening. Cells are dying. They're not being fed. And now think about it here. The brain is burning through nutrients faster than any other system in the body. It's the first place where nutrients go to when we eat food. The the brain takes up most of the nutrition. Gram for gram, pound for pound, it takes up most of the nutrition in the body or the vast majority of it or lots of it. That means brain cells are highly dependent on nutrients, vitamins, minerals. They're highly dependent on oxygen, and they're super mega, mega dependent on a clean environment to do their work. Nothing is supposed to get, the brain is highly filtered. Stuff doesn't get into the brain that's not supposed to get into the brain. Unfortunately, sugar is one of those things that the brain needs, and this is where the problem comes from. Sugar gets into the brain very effectively, and sugar is a toxin after a certain amount, and a small amount is is necessary for the brain and other parts of the body, but after that, it becomes a toxin. That's where Alzheimer's disease comes from, folks. It's not aluminum and amyloid and tau and all these things your doctor wants you to think it is. 
It's our lives. It's our lifestyle. And I'm not beating anybody up for this thing. I'm just saying this because we have control. We have power. We have power and control over our bodies to this huge extent. It's not being leveraged and nobody's telling us. To this day, there's absolutely nothing a doctor can do to prevent or even slow down the progression of any chronic degenerative disease or any dementia with the medical tools for the trade. With all our high tech, with all our money that we spend on the so-called greatest healthcare system in the world, we still, via the medical model, cannot prevent or slow down the, the, the onset or the progression of chronic degenerative diseases of any of them. And that's 80% of our health costs. And that includes dementia. All chronic degenerative health issues, whatever structure is involved, the bones or the liver or the, the brain or the, the muscular system or the pancreas, whatever, they are all cell issues. This is the trick. This is the secret. Doctors can't help a cell. They can poison a cell. They can radiate a cell. They can remove a cell, but they cannot fix it or repair it or in any way make it better. That is so key to understand. A doctor cannot make a cell better. And if we're sick, our cells are sick. All disease is cell disease. It's not our organs. It's our cell. So you can fire your MD, as Dr. Glidden says, because he's not helping you. He's not going to be able to help you using medical strategies because he's not allowed in the cell. The cell doesn't allow the medical professional, unless the medical professional wants to be a bully and poison it and radiate it and remove it. There's nothing the medical model can do for a cell. All disease is cell disease. That includes diseases of the brain, which are brain cell diseases, neuron diseases, nerve cell diseases, brain cells not being fed. They're not getting the mighty 90 essential nutrients. They're not being oxygenated. There's clogs in the blood. Oxygen's not getting delivered. There may be lung issues or circulatory issues. And finally, and, and maybe most importantly, brain cells swimming in their own waste. And I know that's gross, but that's what it is. Alzheimer's disease, the sixth leading cause of death in this country, and a pandemic around the world, and the poster child for the impotency of the medical model for treating chronic degenerative disease is nothing more than brain cells that aren't doing their business, period. And you can you know, read on the internet about amyloidosis and amyloid proteins and aluminum and tangles and fluoride and chlorine and all these things that cause Alzheimer's disease. It's a red herring, folks. It's a diversion. It's misdirection. And, and it's really nasty when you think about it. I mean, if the medical folks would just admit there's nothing we could do, forget it. You know, but to say we're looking for genetic cures and stem cells and all these fancy schmancy high tech uh, strategies, medical strategies, which by the way just disempower us even more, stem cell technology, that just disempowers the individual even more. You can't do stem cell technology in your living room. You can do the mighty 90 in your living room. You can breathe in your living room. You can restrict sugar intake in your living room, but you can't do stem cell or genetic. Uh, technologies in your in your living room it disempowers the individual again all this high-tech ch chicanery medical trickery it's this distinction between the organ and the cell that we really really got to understand the distinction between the macro and the micro that's the secret that's the secret to understanding vitamin E that's the secret to understanding vitamins that's the secret to understanding micro nutrition people always ask what are vitamins exactly what are minerals exactly? These are the tools of the trade for the cell. It's how the cell does its business. But if we don't see the cell as, a, as the component or as the building block of the organ, we're just going to allow them to take our organs out. This is also why nutrition is multifunctional, because you have 200 different cells, plus, uh, 200 plus different cells in your body. And so vitamin E, because it protects cells, it will protect liver cells, it will protect bone cells, it will protect pancreas cells, it will protect brain cells, it will protect stomach cells, it will protect intestinal cells, it will protect all the cells. It will protect the cells that make collagen, it will protect the cells that detoxify poisons, it will protect the cells that make fats. That's the, beauty of un that's the beauty of nutrition and that's the beauty of understanding this distinction between the organ, the structure, and the cell. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll take a, we'll take a break and come back right after this. Don't go away. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we're back. 
back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have a couple lines open for you. Please try to call in early so we can get as many calls as possible without leaving anybody on hold. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, we can help you. We can help you change your life today. The strategies we talk about here on the bright side are instantaneously effective. And they're not complicated either. You can notice results. If you've got high blood pressure, if you've got a weight problem, if you've got thyroid issues, if you've got just plain old feeling yucky issues, we can help you change your life today. You can notice results today if you do this thing correctly. 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products that we recommend or we advertise on the program, please go to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. Okay, if you're, on hold, if you're on hold on the phone, hang on. We'll get you in our next segment, 844-236-6010 is our number. So we're talking about this distinction between the cell and the organ. And I, you know, I'm very sensitive to when people's eyes glaze over when I'm looking at them. I can't do it on the radio here. So hopefully your eyes aren't glazing over out there. Because sometimes when we hear things that seem science-y or chemistry-like, it's intimidating. It shouldn't be. A cell's like a little circle. A little blob, that's pretty much it. You got a couple hundred of them, different types, I should say. You got about a hundred trillion of them. That's, think about that right there. You know, we talk about this number a trillion a lot. Used to be a billion. Used to be had a lot of, a billion dollars was a lot of money. Now that's chump change. Used to be even before that, a million dollars was a lot of money. A millionaire was supposedly rich. These days, you got to be a billionaire. I had a friend who had, uh, he was worth about $80 million, and he told me, he couldn't even get invited to good parties until he had $250 million. I thought that was kind of funny. But anyway, so nowadays it's a trillion. We have number inflation. But what is a trillion, really? Do you know, here's a good way to picture a trillion. You take a grain of sand and then go to an Olympic-sized swimming pool. And the difference between that grain of sand and the Olympic-sized swimming pool is roughly a trillion. And if you want to know how many cells you have in your body, multiply it by 100 because you've got about 100 trillion. If you want to count each cell one by one to get to 100 trillion, it would take you 32 million years. That's a lot of cells, folks. That's why we don't notice when we're sick until a bunch of cells get sick. And then it's too late. Then we've got to go to the doctor because we've got so many of these cells. There's so much redundancy. You know, we don't notice when a cell gets sick. We don't notice cell inflammation. We don't notice microinflammation. We just notice when our gallbladder hurts or our appendix or our, or our bones or, or we're losing our memory if we have Alzheimer's disease. But it's starting out at the teeny infinitesimal level of a cell that's not getting fed, that's not getting oxygenated, or that's not getting nutriated. Now, if it happens once in a while, that's not a big deal. The body can handle that. But when it's over and over and over and over again, beginning at birth, that's when all of a sudden we're 28 and we hit the wall. That's when we're in our 40s and our 50s and we say, well, I was healthy, I was perfectly fine, and then all of a sudden I got this kidney problem or I got this arthritis or this autoimmune disease. This is how we think. So you, if we're going to handle this and free ourselves from medical tyranny, which is com completely possible, we got to understand this distinction between the organ and the tissue, which is where we see the problem, and the cell. And you don't hear about it from your mainstream the mainstream medical model. That's not where they're focused. But that's where we should focus if we're going to be empowered because our, uh, the cell is our best health friend. The cell is our most important biological connection to health and being. And while the medical model is not permitted in the sacred space, God, the divine force through our actions, through good food, nutrition, oxygen, exercise, rest, that is allowed in the cell. That's how you take care of the cell. That's it. Nutrition, quality food, oxygen, exercise, and rest. Forget quality food. Nutrition, oxygen, exercise, rest. And that's all. And that's all we need, really, to leverage our God-given ability to repair, renew, and heal. That's all we need. If you're dealing with anything as mild as acne to as serious as atherosclerosis to autoimmune diseases to arthritis, whatever, food or nutrition, I should say, oxygen, Exercise and rest. Norm. Nutrition, oxygen, nutrition, oxygenation, rest and move. Norm. Conversely, disease is something tweaked in the cell. 